Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to create this beautiful team intro animation using PowerPoint. This template is designed for 60 members, but you can extend this concept to even more profiles. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first enable the guides. And before we start designing this template, we need to calculate the size of each shape so that all six shapes will fit perfectly within the width of this slide. For that, let's go to design tab, then choose slide size option and then select custom slide size. Here you will find the width of this slide which is 33.867 cm. So let's open our calculator and divide this total width by 6 since we have 6 profiles. Now we get 5.64 cm and that will be the width of each shape. Let me close all the windows and then go to insert tab, choose shapes and then draw a rectangle shape holding down shift key to make it a square shape. Next we need to change the width of the shape to our calculated value. But before that, let's click on the small arrow shape and then enable lock aspect ratio option. Now let's change the width to 5.64 cm and you can notice even height will match its value to width. Now let's drag and place this shape at the leftmost position of our slide. Duplicate it once using Ctrl plus D and align it to original shape as shown. Also change its fill color just to differentiate between both the shapes. Next select both the shapes and then drag them holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create the duplicates and place them in a pattern as shown. You can notice all shapes will fit perfectly within the slide width. Next drag and select all the shapes and then drag them holding down Ctrl and Shift keys to create the duplicate and place them at the bottom half of the slide. Again select all the shapes and then remove their outline. Now select the shapes in zigzag pattern as shown and change their fill color to light gray. These will be our picture placeholders. Now for remaining shapes, let's apply gradient fill colors change its direction, make it a two-step linear gradient and then change the stop colors to different shades of any bright color. Similarly follow the same steps and apply different color gradient patterns to remaining shapes. Let me speed up to save time. That looks perfect. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rectangle shape as shown. Remove its outline. Change its fill color to black and then increase the transparency. Let's zoom in and then recheck if this rectangle shape matches the width of square shape. Now drag this shape holding down control key to create the duplicates and place it onto each square shape as shown. Make sure to follow the same zigzag pattern. Now let me copy and paste the name text field onto our design. Change the font color and arrange it as per the design requirement. Drag it holding down control key to create the duplicate and place it onto each of the placeholders. Now copy and paste other text fields and place it onto first shape. Arrange them as required and then change their font color. At this point, let's design an experience slider. For that, let's go to design tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Adjust the size as shown. Remove its outline and change its fill color to white. Next again go to insert tab and then draw another rounded rectangle shape. Adjust the size and corner roundness and place it as shown. Let's format this rectangle with the same pattern as that of back and square shape using the format painter option. Add white color outline and then select both rectangle shapes. Go to effect options and then apply outer shadow effect. Set the transparency level to 30%. Adjust this slider to the below text and we are all set. Next drag and select all the shapes. 
drag it holding down control key to create the duplicates and place it onto other square shapes. Make sure to match the color schemes of all the sliders either by using the format painter and then applying outline and shadow effects. Don't forget to adjust the slider position and edit the text below. Or if you have color schemes readily available, you can just change the colors instead of using the format painter every time. Follow the same steps to all the sliders and let me speed up to save time. Lastly, let's add the profile pictures to finalize this design. Select the first square shape, choose picture and texture fill option, then click on insert, select from file option and then add the profile pic of your choice. Follow the same steps and add the profile pics to all other shapes. Let me speed up to save time. Now also let's add the background image by choosing same picture and texture fill option. Then click on insert and this time let's select the stock images option. Search for any background images. Select the image of your choice. Let's go with this image and then insert it as a background image. Finally. Add the title text and change the font color. All set. So here is the final design preview. Next we will proceed to animate all the shapes to make it more engaging. So let's start with our animation process. As usual, let's go to animations menu and then enable animation pane. Slightly increase its width for better visibility. So as a first step, we will animate all elements of first profile. Select the top square shape and apply float in animation. Make it to float from down and reduce the duration to 0.75 seconds. Next select the bottom square shape and apply same float in animation. Start it with previous and reduce the duration to 0.75 seconds. Now select the rectangle shape and apply split animation. Change the effect to vertically out and start it after previous. Next select all the text fields and apply fade animation. Select the first animation of this group and then start it after previous and that will make all below animations to align automatically. Next is the slider. Select and apply wipe animation. Change its direction to from left and start it with previous. Next select this small rectangle shape and it is bit important here. Apply line motion path animation and you can see its default motion path is vertically downwards. So let's first change its motion path to horizontally right. Here, green dot is the starting position of this animation. So drag it at the beginning of the slider and the red dot is the end position of this animation. So drag and align it to the required position of the slider. Reduce the duration to one second and start it after previous. So let's preview the animation once. You can notice the slider position still appears in the slideshow mode and the bottom text field doesn't have any animation. Sorry for missing it. So let's fix it. Select the slider position shape. Go to add animation and apply appear animation. Just drag and place this animation on top of line motion path animation and start it after previous. So overall this shape has two animations. First it will appear and then it will move from left to right. Lastly, select the bottom text field, apply fade animation and start it with previous with a delay duration of 0.5 seconds. Now let's preview the animation once.
that looks perfect next using the animation painter we will apply all these animations to next set of shapes select the first profile choose animation painter and apply it to second profile select the first bottom shape choose animation painter and apply it to second bottom shape similarly let's continue to select each shape and apply these animations one by one important point to remember is you must maintain the same sequence of animations as before for text fields we can use the animation painter but it is better to select all of them apply fade animation and then start them after previous by doing this you can skip four trials of using animation painter for other shapes we will continue to use the animation painter following the same sequence and the important point we must not forget to adjust the position of this line motion path animation for all the sliders green dot must be at starting position and red dot must match the current position let's preview the animation once that looks perfect let's continue to use the animation painter and copy all animations from second group of shapes onto third group for text fields let's manually apply the animations obviously to skip multiple trials and for slider position make sure to change the position of line motion path animation So let me skip the steps of animating next group of shapes else this video will be too long once you complete all the animations your final preview will look something like this hope you all liked it thanks for watching Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.